Hello and welcome to another tutorial video. I'll be showing you how to essentially use the software that I use for my 3D printing. So this is based around the Flash Forge Adventurer 3, keep in mind. So when I'm moving like this, I'm just holding middle mouse. Right click allows me to spin and turn. Left click, I can just move. Control left click allows select. Control right click allows rotation as well. So there's not really any different. Same as with control and middle mouse click. Alt and middle mouse click's the same. Alt and right click's the same. Alt and left click allows you to do your little move. So as you can see, it, it, it's all pretty easy. You can scroll out, you can scroll in and you have your different settings all here. So first of all, I'll quickly show you, let's open up a model. So as you can see, I've got a variety of models here. Let's say we want to use Pyramid Head. So just ignore that and we will make him maximum scale. And you can adjust all your scale settings just by touching these up a little bit. You can move it around just like that or you can go on platform or center so if i move him here i can make him center if i lift him up i can make him on platform now if you want to rotate then you can either rotate by clicking the little lines and rotating him even grab this little red one and grab the green one so you can rotate them any angle you would like so essentially you can click these as well just to quickly do it or you can do or even just rotate him around like that so that way you can have a look but generally if you want to have a look just go into view mode because if you have any of these set and you accidentally click the model, it can move the model. So you can just do it like this. And say I want to make a duplicate. I just click duplicate one. Or I can go say duplicate 12. It creates 12 duplicates. So there's not really many matters where you'll use that, but say you have 12, no, we won't go 12, we'll actually just go one duplicate. And say we want them both on here, then we'll go auto layer, and that's it. So you can actually adjust the millimeters between them as well, so you can make zero millimeters, which is pretty close. And then that brings us to our cutting tool. So, I'll go back to view mode, I'll quickly remove his duplicate because it's easier with doing cutting by going by one. So say I want to do it like this. So I just got to line this up right. So say I want him to be a perfect cut, right? And then I'll just rotate him a little bit on the Z axis. Let's check that cut. So that cut's not too bad. We can actually just move this over to here. So you can see he needs to move a tiny bit more. And if we get cut, so as you can see, it just decided it wanted to be a bit extra, but that's okay. So that that is fine. We can cut it like that. And all we do is click start cut. And then you have two perfect slices, right? So then what we'd want to do is we would want to rotate it something like this. And then we'll get this one and we'll go something like this. And then we'll click auto layer and let, let's go at least one millimeter away. So they are quite big. So we'll drop them both, both the halves to about 80. Not sure why that is a lot bigger. 
So, looking at the scale. So, 87.40. So, it's a 30 difference. Right, so... If we want them the same, we'd make that 50. And that 80. So... Now, those two are the exact same, as you can see. So what we would do in this case, you can get your supports. So we'll start with this one because he, he looks like he has a little bit more mass, not much, but a little bit more. But when you flip them this way, you can see they are the exact same. But when they're this way, they, they look a bit bigger, but they're not, so don't stress. So you can adjust your overhang thresholds, post diameter, base diameter, base height. And you have these support types, you have the post branches and you have your pole branches as I call them. So generally you can just click auto support and that should do it all perfectly fine. So that, that should work relatively fine if not then you can do clear supports and go to this one check this one see how it looks it, it does look a little bumpy but that's okay and then we can grab this one auto support and then if you want to have them touching platform only you can tick that if not then don't worry about it and once you feel like you are done, you can click start slicing. You will choose the nozzle size that your nozzle is. If you choose the wrong size, it can cause difficulties. However, if you just leave it to its default, it's generally fine. fine. So I myself have a lot of PLA but I do have some PLA CF10 and ABS filaments. So defining the different types of filaments is pretty much just one uses recycled plastic, one uses alternative materials, and one uses another form of plastic. So all your PET G ones, they are made from recycled. ABS can be like your clear, your silk, um, rainbows. PLA CF10 is a stronger one of PLA, and PET G CF10 is stronger of PET G. And then PC, I have no clue as I have not quite used that one myself. But you can just keep that like that. You click slice. You will wait for it to evidently slice when it does. Hopefully it slices quick. And then you can actually click download, save it wherever you feel, and then you copy it to a USB and plug it into your Flashforge printer. So I'll quickly show, you can get some interesting little things like, you can make things like this. You can also make things like this. I have numerous examples, so you got little spiders as well. They're little Minecraft characters, as you can see. Some of them don't come out as good as others, but that's to be expected. So there is another one. And we have a little creeper too. But the limitations are endless. They do not quite end there. So as, as you, you can, can see, see with things, things like this, you got all these pretty looking ones. We can, we can just delete them because I have no need for them anymore. And say you want to use something like this and, oh crap, it doesn't fit. You can just go scale maximum. Generally, even when you do go maximum, however, it is always good to shrink it down to try and keep it behind these lines and that is pretty much it